Well, one thing he'll do, uh, Dale Earnhardt watches the gauges very closely, so if it is a problem... Uh, oh, there's trouble. Oh, one out of control all the way up and over is the number 29. Robert Presley. Around goes Presley, and he picks it up. I don't think I've ever seen a car go up in the air, completely turn over and land back on the wheels and never touch any part of the sheet metal of that car. Gets turned right in here. Several cars to Terry Labonte, and he were right close together, and then he came and look how high it goes in the air, makes a spin, sits back down on all four, but rest assured, it did a lot of damage to the undercarriage of that race car. Took Scooby-Doo for a ride, didn't he? I'm telling you. Another view. You can see him in trouble here. You see the back come up in the air. It hits right on the nose there, but look when it comes down. Watch the back of the car. That is a severe lick. I guarantee it bent everything under the undercarriage there. Good thing he landed on the pavement, not on the grass. And he still hit the right saint. Derek Cope's car getting collected, but it was not the first. I think Jimmy Spencer got some damage in this one. Well, there's Spencer in fourth place. Michael Walter behind him, and Spencer gets into the wall. You can see him hit it there on the outside. That's exactly what we were talking about, that arrow push off the corner. Spencer tried to turn the car. He went right in the wall, and you see a chain reaction happening behind him. And behind him, getting on the binders, there's Derek Cope spinning. Collects a car, and at 180 miles an hour, I think he got Bill Elliott, huh? Can't be. No, Elliott's down below him. There's another car down here in the grass. Well, the other car down the grass was uh, Jeff Bodine that spun down through there. The seven car? Yeah. QVC car from Sterling Marlin. You can see it happening behind him. And once Spencer got into the wall, everybody started checking up, and then other cars started hitting them. It, it just happened so quick that you don't have time to get on the brakes as close as those cars are running together. In seventh, Grissom up to eighth. Here comes Earnhardt. Chasing Dale Jarrett again. Dale and Dale added another time. If Dale Earnhardt waits to the straightaway to pass Dale Jarrett, he's going to be sadly mistaken. You see him now as they started. Oh, oh. Oh. There you see Schrader oh, in trouble and Grissom. Turn three. A lot of close racing back in the back of the pack. See Mike Skinner pull out behind Schrader, the green car, and there's Grissom, the white car, right in front. And they all go to, all the way to the inside, Schrader and Grissom, and they touch down there and then shoot back across the racetrack, almost getting the car number 31 of Skinner as it came back, both of them hitting the outside wall, spinning around. You see Ricky Rudd in the orange car coming up behind them there, and Jeff Burton also. They slow down and get on by. Don't like the way that Grissom slapped that wall driver's side. Look again here. It's like Grissom right there. does not realize the 33's down there, and he pulled down to the inside, and, and they made contact, and they're along for the ride after they turn around backwards there. Boy, that looked like Donnie and Cale back in 79. Another look. Well, here it is. Schrader gets way down on the grass trying to move on the inside of, of Steve Grissom. Well, Grissom was low, and, and Schrader tried to go down there, but once he got the left side tires down in the grass there, it turned him, and you're right. It's the same thing that happened to uh, Kale and Donnie on the back straightaway years back. Action of the 39th Annual Daytona 500. Boy, that camera was working great then. Oh, trouble. trouble. That trouble is time. Greg Sachs. We were just talking about it. Oh, man, what a tough break. Oh. Bangs it hard into the wall. Both ends of it goes in. Caution the 99, will be out. Jeff Burton's caught in his back straightaway action. Here's what happened. Okay, everything looks good, and then all of a sudden, Greg comes out of the pack of cars. They're apparently got touched a little bit, buddy, and and just sent him down to the inside. You know, we see this happen so many times. The car is on the outside, does not realize somebody's just behind him, and starts to pull over, and they make contact, and this is the end result. Well, that's what happened with Ricky Craven in the 125 milers the other day, and he admitted it was his mistake. He tried to slide in and didn't make it. Well, this is inside Sterling Marlin's car, and you can see the car just shoot out there, and that was uh, Jeff Burton's car sliding down to the inside as well. Don't believe Burton hit anything. Another look. 
Boy, those roof flaps did their job there. That uh, 20 car of Greg Sachs tried every way in the world to get off the ground. You see them employ there as they pop up. Mike, and for Jeff Gordon, he's doing this for someone else. Here goes the pass. Gordon making a move on the inside of Earnhardt. Oh, Jerry, it's loose. Down the back straight away. Big trouble. Earnhardt out. Up and over, number three. And for the 19th time, Lady Luck deals a bad hand. Well, you can see him coming off. That's Jeff Gordon right under Earnhardt. Earnhardt gets into the outside wall, moves over in traffic there. Everybody checked up. There's contact from the car just behind him. Dale Jarrett, Jarrett got into him just a little bit. You can see Ernie Irvin there slamming into the outside wall. And going under him. The end of another 500 for Dale Earnhardt. From inside Jarrett's car, watch these pictures. Well, he was going to follow. He saw Gordon make the move coming off of turn two, you, and those cars get close together up there, and Earnhardt gets into the wall. You could see Earnhardt's car get sideways just before he got to the wall there. He could not control it. It got over into the wall, and it was a chain reaction from there on. Watch him Another come through view. here. Watch it turn sideways just a little bit. Bam, right into the wall there. Now everybody didn't have time to check up. I think Ernie got into the back and Terry got into the back of uh, Ernie Irvin. He got the 28 car into the back of the 88. The five in there was a chain reaction, as you said, just backed him up. And the result, dire straits for Dale Earnhardt. The hood from the number 28 up over the fence and possibly into the tiny Lund grandstand, we understand. At regular speed. game the stock car racing seventh martin is eighth and hamilton hamilton the petty car is in ninth here comes phil elliott back on the inside off turn four and trouble there's trouble coming down off that banking one two three benson's car among them as they come to the line caution is coming out that could be the final lap under green and if it is, Gordon has won with Terry Labonte second and Craven third. Dale Jarrett caught up. And there you see Kenny Wallace in that incident. Brent Bodine's number 11 is involved. And there's the number one of Morgan Shepard all torn up. We Benson see. on the outside in the yellow car. Bobby Hamilton gets into him right there, right in the center. Spins him around. Hits Skinner. There comes the... Joe One Nemechek car. had absolutely nowhere to go. That's him right against the wall sliding down through there. Dale Lakes. Jarrett down on the inside with Kenny Wallace spinning around. Jarrett had got, got by it as far as being hit and then gets hit again right there by, by Wallace. You know, just a victim of circumstances, all of them. Right. For the second wild ride of the day with Dale Jarrett. So he gets down off of the flat part of the, on the flat part of the track. Then Wallace comes down and gets into him or was knocked down into him i should say he yeah. didn't he didn't just drive it down there into him then goes up and hits the outside wall and then kenny's going to come back down once again and hits jerry 197 now complete lake speed was caught up at that in the number nine jared finally gets it woed another view you see bobby hamilton there he just touches benson right there on the left rear corners and that sets a chain reaction off you can see up on the top there, Joe Nemechek in the 73. Morgan Shepard in the one, now turned sideways and all around them. Lake speeds in that. And for the second time today, Mike Skinner got out of something that you would thought he would have had no car at all. Earlier, he just missed by a fraction and again.
Kenny Wallace hit him once and got him again. Nothing Kenny could do. Dramatic stuff. Telestrator. Show you what happened okay. here. R right here. These three cars and Bobby Hamilton right in the middle. And you're going to see when we start to move it that his car is going to move up the racetrack right up into the 30 car of Johnny Benson. They make contact, shoots Benson down across the track, almost gets Mike Skinner. Then up there in front of Joe Nemechek up on the outside, Morgan Shepard up there as well. Kenny Wallace loses control. Here's Lake Speed back there. Bobby Labonte down on the inside. Dick Trickle gets hit hard. Lots of good race cars torn up here. Over half of the field has been involved in wrecks here today in this 500. 